Your radiance brightens the lives of those around you, and we rejoice in that. Wishing you this blessing in the hope that your day is filled with success. May you spend your time acknowledging your blessings, and steering clear of troubles. Begin the day positively, embracing gratitude and counting your blessings. In a startling turn of events from Mexico, a harrowing incident unfolded as a stray bullet unexpectedly penetrated the walls of a local church, narrowly missing a priest who was presiding over Massachusetts. The gravity of the situation left everyone in attendance stunned, with a palpable sense of disbelief hanging in the air. However, amid the shock and tension, an astonishing twist of fate and what some may describe as a miraculous intervention transpired. The bullet's trajectory, seemingly guided by an unseen force, led to a sequence of events that left all those present awestricken and filled with a profound sense of wonder. As the projectile made its way through the sacred space, the congregation held its collective breath, only for an inexplicable force to alter its course. The nearly catastrophic incident took an unforeseen turn, sparing the priest from harm and avoiding a potential tragedy. To ensure that as many people as possible see this video, kindly take a moment to share this video and subscribe to this channel. May this message touch your heart and help to bring you close to the conversation of souls and the conversion of sinners. If you believe so, please type Amen. Commencing the day with a prayerful breath ensures a day filled with blessings while concluding with an evening prayer promises a night of tranquility and security. Before delving into the core content of this video, let's unite in prayer together. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit instructed the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Spirit we may be truly wise and ever rejoice in His consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. O my God, Thou knowest my great poverty and misery, and that of myself I can do nothing, Thou knowest how unworthy I am of this infinite favor, and Thou alone canst make me worthy. Since thou art so good as to invite me thus to thyself, add this one bounty more to all the rest to prepare me for thyself. Never let me be guilty of thy body and blood by an unworthy communion. For the sake of this same precious blood, which thou hast shed for me, deliver me, O Jesus, from so great an evil. Amen. Right after this event, a message from Our Lady was sent to one of the people in there and the warning for 2024 is coming closer than ever. A stray bullet pierced through the roof of a church at the moment when the priest was celebrating Mass, falling at the priest's feet. This incident was recorded on video and has since gone viral on social networks. It occurred on Sunday, in the parish of San Jose in Vitoria, Brazil. Father Robinson de Castro was concluding the homily around 7.37 p.m. when the parish reported the occurrence of the lost bullet. The bullet hit the roof, penetrated it, and fell near the priest's feet. He picked it up and handed it to the community coordinator, continuing with the celebration normally, as per the parish. The event occurred shortly after a rocket fire in the region, and the episode has been documented in a police report. The Archdiocese of Victoria, on its website, emphasized that the lack of security in the greater Victoria area once again revealed one of the most dangerous and persistent issues in the community and the parish. The statement went on to highlight that the impact of such incidents extends beyond those directly living in a situation of violence, even individuals in ostensibly peaceful circumstances may experience a sense of threat and emotional impact due to this situation. As the lost bullet swiftly advanced toward the priest, an extraordinary and miraculous occurrence unfolded. Suddenly, 
A mysterious voice resonated within the confines of the altar, adding a layer of astonishment to an already surreal event. Now, the message will be shared with all of you, beloved children of my Immaculate Heart, I charge you to pray, each of you individually because each person knows what T.O. ask and what T.O. give. The days are growing shorter, my true children are growing fewer in number, beloved people of my Son. Man believes that he is God and has control over man to bring about his destruction. People will commit extremely serious sins. Youngsters, you are aware of a great deal that has already happened to humanity, yet you do not alter. Children, despite all that has been shown to you, not to scare you, but to help you prepare spiritually, you refuse to change. Beloved children of my heart, I extend my loving guidance to you, urging utmost vigilance as December approaches. The imminent arrival of Christmas brings with it a heightened spiritual significance, yet it is during this sacred season that the forces of darkness seek to exploit vulnerabilities. The adversary, seizing the opportunity, descends upon the world with the intention of sowing discord and wreaking havoc across all continents. As we anticipate the joyous celebration of Christ's birth, let us remain steadfast in our faith, fortified against the adversarial influences that may attempt to undermine the true essence of this sacred time. The people of my Son are still blindfolded and submerged in banality, unwilling to open their eyes, despite the reddish tinge of the moon and the unending signs in heaven and on earth. I love you, I bless you and protect you. Matthew 16 verse 18 And I tell you that you are Peter, and on this rock, I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not overcome it. This verse is spoken by Jesus to the Apostle Peter, acknowledging the foundation of the church and expressing the idea that the church will endure any adversity. It signifies the enduring and unshakable nature of the church as a central element in Christian teachings. However, other interpretations focus on the confession of faith rather than Peter himself as the rock. In Peter's confession in the preceding verses, he acknowledges Jesus as the Messiah, the Son of the living God. Some believe that it is this confession of faith that becomes the foundational rock upon which the church is built. Now, let's join and pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Thank you for watching till the end of our video. Our brothers and sisters, without fear and with more faith than in the past, let us continue in faith. Stay blessed and continue to pray for God to show all of us His graces and blessings. God bless us and protect us. Amen.